Hey y'all, Ileana Silver Dragon here, and we are back with the next part of Let's Play Star Stable. So now, we're going right back to Idris to help him do what he needs. Now that we are all properly introduced, let us get down to the brass tacks. The four of us are going to build a circus together. Actually, make that five of us. Crystal Warrior is part of our family now, too. <laughs> First up, the big top. Eliana, if you wouldn't mind pulling the tent out of the crate over there. It's not there, is it? Hold on, I know it's around here somewhere. Whoops. One of those has got one of those has to be the right one. Step to it, Eliana. Find our tent. Great. Yay. Let's go to the purple one first. <laughs> oh, you can't click on this one. Well, guess we're starting from this side. Nope. 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 No. 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 Oh, hey, that's it. Fun. Head back to Idris. We look weird running. Where did the other boxes go? Smoke and mirrors, my little flea. See, this is part of the reason I don't like him. He calls us all sorts of weird stuff. But more importantly, we have our tent. Our big top is looking rather little. This won't do at all. Other friends are coming. Many friends. Friends who acquire a proper venue. Oh. Turning this humble bundle of cloth into our big top will take a true team effort. We'll need permits, pegs, and poles. Z, will you help Crystal Warrior haul logs to support our tent? Shin, you can prepare the rigging. Ileana, it is clear you have a gift for opening boxes, so I want you to focus on that. I calculate that if we all work together, we'll circus will be ready in six days, no less. The work begins now. <sighs> Must I do everything myself? Fine, but I'll remember this, you layabouts. Ileana, you might want to stand back. Here, it just goes with his magic again. I don't like him. I really don't. <laughs> He's just so condescending. <sighs> Magnifique. A perfect place for wonders and delights. And there will be plenty of room for all my friends when they arrive. You must be eager to see what mysteries lie inside our big top. Soon, my lovely, soon. There are a few more preparations to attend to first. Shin, would you be so kind as to fetch the... Shin? Where did my fool run off to? Oh. Hi. Stay calm, Shin. Ileana will get you down. Great. I must do everything, huh? You're weird. <laughs> And there he is. Now what? What is wrong, little dove? Did my fool frighten you without his mask? It is merely a trick of the light. I would tell you more, but a bit. Blah, 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 blah. I would tell you more, but a magician never reveals his secrets. I don't care. Now that my horse. How is it my horse is a bigger pink prankster than my clown? I suppose every family has its quirks. Someone needs to get poor Shin's mask back from Z, and since the two of you hit it off so well earlier, it should probably be you. I'll have to chase this horse down? Great. Forgot about this. <sighs> Alright, Crystal. Let's go. What the? Z, get back here. Wait, is the mask floating on top of her? I think it is. It is. <laughs> gotcha. Why do you have question marks on top of you? Meh. Z reluctantly drops the mask. I should probably return this to Idris. Okay. 
Still don't like him. I don't think I will ever like Idris because honestly, he's just annoying. I know I'm saying this a lot, but still. Ugh. Okay, almost there. All right. We should get my jester back in costume right away. A clown without his mask is truly a frightening sight. Now, does everyone have their appearance sorted out? Crystal's looking a bit long in the face, but I suppose that can't be helped. Let's get back to making magic. The fool is silent. Where it, where'd, where'd you go? Our big top is missing something. Of course, the cherry on top of our Sunday of dreams. A luminous sign to welcome my guests to the show. Now where did I put the sign? Huh? What? Where's the sign? Unless I'm just not see Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, it's clipping through crystal. On top. Cool. Perfect! Our circus shall light up the night, bringing in guests like moths to a flame. Yes, a conflagration... Conflagration? Of delights. We will put on shows here, the likes of which this world had never seen, and I have you to thank. Let no one tell you that you're just another silly girl with a head for horses. Stick with me, my dear girl, and we'll bring down the house. It occurs to me that our circus will be a ball, but is a bit off the beaten track. What kind of host would I be if I did not make life easier, easy for our guest? One time on, one's time on this earth is so limited. We should make it easier to have a ball. That's it, a pumpkin. Ileana, you much fuss as a pumpkin, but where to find one? What's this? Unless my nose deceives me, the smell of nutmeg and allspice is wafting up from Moreland stables. Could it be that someone is baking a pumpkin pie? Fate truly smells on us, though, flea. Stop calling me a flea. <sighs> Follow the scent and find our mystery pie ba maker. Perhaps they can part with the pumpkin. Oh. Okay. Looks like we're following the trail. Funny, you normally can't see scents. <laughs> Alright. I know where this is leading, but let's follow it anyway. Almost run into someone, too. Alright, down the cliff we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Do I have to go through everything? I guess I do. <sighs> That's a bit annoying. Can't help it, I guess. Over here, past the forge. Right over to Mrs. Holdsworth. Mm, almost there. Oh, did I miss one? Oh, okay. Why, yes, I am baking a pumpkin pie. Why do you ask? Oh, too many people. You need a pumpkin? After baking my pies, I had exactly one pumpkin left over. I don't believe in coincidences. Fate meant for you to have this pumpkin, dear. Take it. No explanation necessary. <coughs> you, Mrs. Holdsworth. Let's run back to you just real quick. Um, so I have decided that I'm not going to Starshine Ranch today purely because the halters are coming out tomorrow and I want to do it all in one go and I want to have y'all to see my honest reaction of the halters because the concept art of them actually looks really cool. I just kind of want to see what they will be. 
So I'm not going to Starshine Ranch today. What else is down there? Our girl Syndra. Huh. Weird. There's two right there. Stolen dock. Oh, that's for Thomas. Okay. So I'm not going to do that one just yet. I'm going to focus on other things. Um, I'm probably going to start the Harvest Counties as well. Or the bridge to Harvest Counties, at least. Did you find the pie maker? Of course you did. And you found our pumpkin. I'm a very lucky fellow. Fortune always smiles on my friends. Now, what are the magic words for transforming a, pum a pumpkin? Salag... Salagadula? Kalamazoo? Let's just go with the classic abracadabra. And there he goes with his magic again. Oh, and the trailer is there. Fun. Our circus of dreams is coming together quite nicely, wouldn't you agree? More fun and games will follow, but for now I invite you to enter the big top as much as you wish. Ride, rehearse, prepare for the main event, my shining star. For when my friends arrive, I want you in ring, where you belong. My faithful fool Shin has gotten into his head that he would like to put on a race. He read a book about rodeo clowns and selected a course from a western tradition. A butterfly pole configuration used in Jimkana? Butterfly. What a fitting metaphor for my circus where dreams transform into reality. Would you care to give Shin's race a go? Why not? Um, this button confuses me. I know it's an alternative camera, but I cannot see when I'm doing it. <laughs> I'll show you guys, um, perhaps when I'm finishing with the race. Come on, Crystal, you can do it. Almost there. Like, now. I'll do it here. You wee <laughs> It's it's such a weird camera angle. And you can't really see where you're going, so it's a weird to control. It's just... <laughs> uh. I will go... Back inside just to see what it is. Magnifique! A veritable ballet on four legs. With you at the reins, Crystal is as graceful as a butterfly. I hope you will come back and race with us again. Oop, the amazing Idris. Where are you? There you are. He is he is of an unknown age and birthday. His job is a circus ringmaster. His horse is Z. The, his distinguishing marks. There's something funny about his left eye, which means he has um heterochromia, I believe. His home is No More's Highland. He does not, we do not know of his birthplace. His favorite food is cotton candy, and his special skills are fortune telling and sleight of hand. Oh, um, I did get this, um, what's it called? Achievement, because I have been doing daily races. So yeah, that's the reason why I have that. <laughs> Idris is the ringmaster of the Circus of Dreams up in No More Highland. I helped them build a circus after meeting his horse, Z, down in Moreland. Well, maybe help isn't the right word, as he seemed to have everything under control. It's almost like he was playing with me. And who are these friends he mentioned? No more clowns like Shin, I hope. So. That guy sort of gives me the creeps. Whatever his true intentions are, it just created something truly amazing and beautiful, and I'm excited to see that I can ride in his big top. Oh, and I'm excited that I can ride. Not really. Ileana, comes close. There's a matter of grave importance that I wish to share with you. My circus of dreams exists to make people happy and fulfill the wishes born from the hearts of all misfits who find their way here. Lately, I've been hearing whispers on the wind for such a wish. The world wishes for something beautiful, and the amazing Idris is all too happy to oblige. My dear companion Z has, ar has already been tasked to procure the necessary elements for such a task. And here she is now. Aw, what the little pony. That's a cute pony. I like it. Uh, 
Uh, what you doing? <sighs> Gather round, one and all. Let the show begin. Oh, he's working his magic. I believe this is his left eye. Oh. Oh. Aw, that's a cute horse. I mean... I mean, it is on the old model, but I love its coat. Hmm, a little long in the tooth. Granted, there is a certain nostalgic appeal, but I desire to bring you something truly new. Now, the certain nostalgic is probably because um, they had newer models back when that horse, or back when this quest was released. Let's try that again. So, the nostalgic would probably be from, um... Oh. Aw, the Christmas deer. Mm. Oh dear, what is this merry mishap? A bit early in this season, don't you think? I jolly will better send this gift back unopened. Do not despair, little fleet. We are getting close. My third attempt will give you something... Birth to something astounding. Aw, oh, the Zony. I do love this horse, but I'm not going to get it because I have it on another account. Magnifique, Ileana, Crystal, indeed all of your it, gaze upon the miracle that now stands before us. My pinnacle of creation, a true one-of-a-kind marvel that can only happen at Idris' circus of dreams. <laughs> now, now, don't be zealous, jealous, Z. You're both mar marvels in entirely different ways. This new amazing creature will bear the name Zoni, a fantastical and beautiful creature only to be seen at just as Circus of Dreams. Oh, it's cute. It seems happy, too. I cannot keep such a wonder as this for myself. This is a gift to be shared with the entire world, perhaps even with you. For a small adoption for you too can find the amazing Idrisoni in your possession. Who knows? It might even bring you good fortune. Oh. Oh cool, the fortune teller is open. Oh, we are so close. Let's see what this is. Have a seat, dear Ileana. Let Idris the All-Seeing take you on a journey of the mind to see what destiny has in store. Shall we begin? What sort of fortune do you seek today? A safer reading about horses? Or perhaps a deeper reading into the mysteries of your soul? Hmm. Let's give out the mysterious one. How ominous. So, I am from a place that has... Um, a lot of fake fortune tellers. So this is actually pretty funny for me to see. <laughs> when the blacksmith rides the red horse in the darkness, this is a harbinger of certain defeat. Before this happens, you must seek the blessing of a fussy raven to ensure a graceful tomorrow. What? Okay. Thank you. Come again. There will be no more fortunes today. Until next time. Yeah, don't know what that fortune means. <laughs> So what I'm going to do, oh, see, that's a glitch. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is actually start with the bridge to see what needs to be done. And then I will actually end the episode. Okay. Hello, Donald. Stop! Halt! You can't ride over the bridge. Wait a minute. Whew. It was lucky that I managed to stop you. That could have gone very badly. Are you on your way to Harvest Counties? I'm sorry, but that isn't going to happen right now. Why? Well, I have good news and bad news. The bad news is that, is that the bridge is broken. Completely wrecked after last winter. When the ice broke up, the bridge almost ripped itself right off. And a big hole opened up in the center. It is completely impossible to get across now. The good news is that he, I'm here to fix the bridge, so soon we shall have it all fixed up and you can ride over whenever you like. I am Donald the Builder, and who might you be? Very nice to meet you, Ileana. How long is this going to take? Um, honestly, this could take a while. I know the bridge, 
I didn't know the bridge was so high. I don't, really don't like heights, you understand. Just inspecting the damage to the bridge is very difficult for me. You can do it? Wow, that is really kind of you. Ride out and see how bad the damage is and come back and let me know. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to do this job either. <laughs> I'm not afraid of heights per se, but I don't like going near the edge of stuff. Inspecting the beads? Inspecting the boards on the bottom. Oh, getting close to the hole. Inspecting the beams to the bottom. And I'm guessing inspecting the hole. Yep. I know some people who would very po who would try to get across that. It I'm friends with some very weird people. Okay. Oh, Crystal's so close to level 4. Hmm. Know what? How did it look? Uh-oh. That seems to be a lot to do. Boards that are missing, beams that need to be refastened, mortar that is rotting away, and it also is completely unstable. I'm not sure I'm brave enough to walk out on it, so how am I going to fix it? You're going to help? Wow. Thank you. You're so nice. Okay, so um, I have been going on for quite a while now. So I'm actually going to be ending this episode here. Um, we did a lot with Idris, even though it feels like we didn't do a lot. Um, anyway, I will be... So we are going to start helping Donald build the bridge tomorrow. But first, we're going to be going to Starshine Ranch and taking a look at the halters and the open to open front boots, is that what they're called? Of that are coming out tomorrow in tomorrow's update. I cannot wait. See y'all later. Goodbye.